Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I want to show you a specific technique that will make a massive difference to your English speaking skills. I'm going to help you to think in English. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, one of the main reasons for pauses, hesitations and lack of fluency in the speech of non-native speakers is that they're translating everything they say from their native language before they speak. Once you learn to think in English, the speed, fluency and accuracy of your speech will improve considerably and your language will be far more natural. But is it really possible for you to learn to think in English? Yes, most definitely. Like everything else about learning a language, it just takes practice. So, I recommend that you seriously consider making this type of speaking practice I'm about to show you a part of your everyday routine. It's simple and easy to do. There are three levels to this technique. You should be able to use at least one of them in almost any situation in your everyday life. So, you could be practicing all day long if you want to. The three levels are word level, sentence level and narrative or story level. First, word level. As you go through your day, think of the English words for the objects you see, your activities and the activities going on around you. For example, as you wake up and get ready for the day ahead, think of words like these. Bed, lamp, clock, Time, door, toothbrush, wash, towel, shirt, shoes, cup, knife, bread, coffee, drink. Then when you're at work, think of words like these or whatever is relevant for your job. Office, computer, desk. Pen, paper, scissors, envelope, calculator, work, manager, employee, colleague, boss, training, meeting. If you study or are a stay-at-home parent, you'll have a different set of vocabulary. If you practice words in this way every so often throughout your day, you'll be thinking about a huge amount of vocabulary in the most natural way possible. It won't be long before you don't need to make any effort to think because the words will just pop into your head when you look at the object or see the activity. You'll also be learning new vocabulary as there are bound to be things that you don't yet know the English word for. You don't need to look up new words immediately. Make a quick note of them in your own language and check them out later. Thinking in words is great when you're really busy, but when you're not quite so rushed, try thinking in complete phrases and sentences. This is level two. Keep them simple at first until you become more confident. For example, at the start of the day think, I'm cleaning my teeth. My kids are eating breakfast. I mustn't forget my lunchbox. The bus is late. In the evening you might think, I wonder what's on TV this evening. I'm going out with my friends. This meal is excellent. I feel tired. You'll be practicing a whole range of grammar skills as well as reinforcing your vocabulary. When you're ready and want to ramp up your speaking practice, try thinking in more complex sentences. For example, the boss is grumpy today because he's got toothache. It's nearly half past ten and I could do with a coffee. If this meeting goes on for much longer, I'm going to miss my bus. Focus on fluency. Don't worry about making mistakes because no one's listening to your thoughts except you. That's why this type of speaking practice is so powerful and effective. You're under no pressure to get the language absolutely right as you would in a conversation. 
and you don't need to translate it word for word or phrase for phrase. Just use the language you know well and let it flow naturally. I promise you it'll get easier the more you do it. Level 3 is narrative or telling a story. You need a little more time for this one but it can still easily become part of your everyday life and here's why. All of us spend lots of time creating stories in our heads about our lives without even realising we're doing it. We create stories about what happened to us earlier in the day or further back in the past. We create stories about what we think will happen in specific situations in the future. I certainly do and I'm sure you do too. So, since you're going to be thinking like this anyway, you might as well create your thought stories in English to get the practice. You can also imagine that you're telling a friend about something. It could be almost anything, for example, a special day out you remember from childhood, something that happened on the way to work, a book you're reading, what you're going to do at the weekend. If you want to practice particular topic vocabulary or a specific grammar tense, choose an appropriate story topic that will enable you to do that. Of course, you'll still need to do lots of practice speaking out loud, but doing these thinking exercises will make that a whole lot easier. They really are worth the time and effort. Well, I hope you found this helpful. You can also find this information on my website. I put a link in the notes below this video. Have fun practicing and I'll see you again soon.